Renting also has a bad side, and before we get a decision, we should keep in mind its disadvantages. The first and most important, you simply throw your money. Where do you think the rent you pay goes? In all probability, the house's owner uses your rent to pay for his mortgage and property taxes. So technically, you may be paying for his or her asset. He or she can just decide to sell it when a good offer comes along and make a fortune. You are, therefore, financing their investment. As we've mentioned before, even though you pay for upgrades or updates on the property, they will not benefit you. They will benefit the landlord, but you don't get to see any return on your money. However, you should always keep in mind that in case you buy a house and the interest rate is high, you may throw your money as well by paying a high interest rate on your mortgage. Unfortunately, renting a house is a fixed cost. Rent is a cost that historically has risen consistently and seldom gone down. Therefore, expect it to increase steadily over the years due to inflation and the rise in property prices. Now, it depends on the area where you live, but usually mortgage repayments are higher than the monthly rent. However, as the mortgage nears its end, the interest charges become lower while a bigger portion of your payment goes to retire the principal. Rent, on the other hand, will continue to go up. Most home buyers can pay off their mortgage in about 30 years, after which they just have to worry about home maintenance costs and homeowners dues. The upside is they'll be free of large monthly amortizations and can enjoy the house as their own. If you are a tenant, you'll always have to pay rent. Once you're just relying on your retirement income, it could be difficult to make rent each month. It could become even more difficult to absorb rent increases with your limited fixed income. Paying off your mortgage month by month may sound like a big burden, but here's the silver lining. It works like a forced saving. You have an obligation to pay your mortgage every month, but it's basically funding an asset that could really appreciate over time. However, when you're renting, after paying off the month's rent, you don't normally save or invest whatever extra is left. Rather, they go to other expenses or worse, pay off for leisure activities. That's it for now. On our website, you can find more posts as well as calculators and other financial tools. What do you think? Rent or buy? We would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them on the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube to get more free financial educative videos.